so we are here so yesterday in previous class we said how to install kali linux on cloud today we will see how to use kali linux in cloud for that we have to open a website called try factory <coughs> And we go to learn. And then inside learn, what we are searching, it is called PVWA. So inside learn, there is a search, and we are going to type PVWA. So it is open. So here I have to start machine. Then it will show it will give me one IP address. It will give me one virtual machine that will have dedicated IP address. And first we should know what is DBWA. DBWA is an awesome virtual machine commonly utilizing training and testing of new tools. This room is unguided and acts purely as a testing environment. So here we cover this and so we search DWA, we find it and we click on a start machine. Then it asks uh, we have to log in and then after login it says I am going to show you the IP address. I think it has remembered my user ID password so it do not ask me to log in and we directly come to these steps and it is going to show me IP address and it takes uh, 20 seconds more in order to show me the IP address so here I am still logging it has saved me user ID and password So I get one IP address for my virtual machine. So on this I get, then I have to start the start attack box, which I click here. So here attack box is start. So your machine is initializing and it say you can use the attack box to attack machines to start on task. So here the machine, virtual machine, it has a one IP address and this is the attack box from here we can make it take. and what will be inside in attack box there will be Kali Linux installed on a cloud so we can just use this IP address and we can start making attack we can start making a scanning we can do anything which we want so it again take time so it takes about 71 seconds in order to open the desktop of Kali Linux. So now, so we have, so this was the user ID and password which we used to log in. And now it is showing IP address and this is screen. So, okay, your machine has just started. It may need a few minutes to become accessible, access it via the attack box, or we can access by open VPN also. So here it was saying 118 second, and when it finished 82%, then it is showing only 22 second. So wait. So what is that? <laughs> what about the exam? Sir told me I have to finish the whole syllabus by 15 February. So on 15 February, that exam will internal all the final exam of first semester. Hello. When, sir? Pardon? I, I, I didn't get you, sir. When are the exams? 
so in february there is a exam or not what information you have uh, i have no information sir okay so when your semester start uh actually it started in november like that so it has started in november december january and february yes there will be exam but i am also thinking so that exam after three and half months it will be internal or it will be the final exam it may be no internal so internal exam only cover two and half units and then second internal exam cover all units but here sir told me in february there will be final exam and you have to cover all unit uh sir i have no idea sir okay no problem. i thought there will be a internal but i have really no idea okay so be prepared for the internal and the final exam and then i am i will try to finish all this courses by mid of february and so i will take uh, try to finish unit 2 in next two lectures and then i will take at least four lectures for every unit so now your course is in fast forward i have a task to finish it in next month so see here it open the tick box open and we can press enter and now this is the desktop of tally bikes beta slide already installed postman already installed bloodhound already installed work suit is installed terminal is here so this is steps we have covered operating system loaded and then we can also get the see the web based machine information by clicking here so when we clicking on this i it so private ip is this user name is this password is this protocol is vnc and this is the public ip what so this is the public ip of this attack box and 10101531133 is ip address of active virtual machine okay so now it so what we can do here we can run here i can type the mmap and i can type the ip address 10 10 151 133 So I am inside a tech box that has a different IP called ten 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 one nine seven one four six, and from this IP or from this tech box, I am making this MMAP scanning of this active virtual machine. So it so there are two port open one twenty two is SSH and one eighty is HTTP, and the MAC address of this virtual machine is. Yes. Then after doing N map scanning, we can also learn IP address of
So it is showing the Ethernet address of this. So it is showing Ethernet. And I am connecting my laptop with a Wi Fi because it is showing the IP address of the attack box. And that attack box is connected with Ethernet that has a one IP for 10.10.197.146. Then there is a tool called Mac Changer. In Mac Changer is installed in Kali, but I try to install on a DBWA cloud client. I try to run the command apt install Mac Changer. I can again retry apt install Mac Changer. So due to the space limitation on cloud, they are not allowing to install many softwares. When I try before taking your class, then it fails. In this cloud, I got only limited space. And in that space, Metas Flight installed they have installed wires and so they have installed all common software. Here they give a warning and tool not installed. So it said fail to fetch this, fail to fetch this and there are so many things and back changer do not install. Then I can open WhatsApp. So what a space they I have got on this cloud or we got Really on this cloud, in that space, WhatsApp is installed. So I just type the command, WhatsApp can open. And when I do IF function, then I was saying that there was an Ethernet connected. So I will click on the Ethernet. There are also so many network related to this uh, attack box connected by some other means using Docker Zero, using the VTH block, and all when we write, when we point mouse there, we see the IP address. It is the IPv6 address. When you point mouse to Docker Zero, it shows the IPv4 address and IPv6. No, it is a physical address. And then when you go point to the Ethernet, it's so IP address and MAC address. One, two, three, four, five. And here there is a no address. On look back low, there is a fixed address 127.0.0.0.1. So, this IP address 10.10.10.197.146 10, 10, 10, was showing inside Ethernet 0, so I will open it. And it is showing all the packets moving through this attack box. But I want to see if any packets are from this virtual machine which I set up before opening this attack box. Then it's so okay, there is a no packets from this IP address open. Then what I will do? I will minimize this wire sir. I will open one more terminal. And then here I try to scan n map minus p a t and then 10 10 1 5 1 1 3 3. See. Now I can open the wire So when I
Where is where is that? When I minimize it, it should be. Stay on. Yes. Okay. So see. I should off this caption. Okay. So when I do some in my face scanning, so there was some packet created and went to this active virtual machine and now it is showing packets from this IP address also earlier it was not showing. So we can run virus are also on cloud, we can run beta exploit also on cloud. So running and it's there. These are showing all the packets and when we do some scanning for that then we can see the IP packets from this specific IP address. So every time so see the IP address is differ with this IP address. So every time when you will open you will get a different IP address and this will expire in one hour. So it is showing it will expire in next 46 minutes. So, there are so many other tools installed in a Linux that is called DIRB, that is called Directory Busters. Here we can type the URL and then we can share the void list. Then they will try to search that void list inside this URL and they will give a list that we can use for exploitation of that or we can take the help of that web vulnerability if we find something related. So there is a default file made inside our computer, inside user, share, DIRB, wireless vulnerability, apache.txt. So we may close this website. When we again we open terminal see if this is a location for user is share dirb so here you say cd user then cd share then you can share cd dirb then we can share cd word list CD word list. So this file already see okay. So in every Kali Linux, this directory exists, and inside that there is a one text file exists. So we open CD holiness and then here I find one text file. So here I can run the program and I can provide this TPS dot yancity.com and then I can pass the text file name because I am inside the LNS folder. So just I have to pass apache.txt. So here I have DIRB, HTTPS, YANCP.com, DIRB, HTTPS, YANCP.com, Oh, so it uh, start time is good. Then January 11. This is a, uh, I think European Standard Time, and then you provided a URL base and you provided a wide list under the files. So 
there are some words inside this apache.txt and they will search that word inside this url so they are scanning so they have generated 30 words in from this file apache.txt and they are scanning URL https.gancity.com so and the first word I think in apache.txt is not found so they are calculating not found codes and will open this when this program is executed then we'll open this apache.txt you will see so here and for every tool dirb make changer we will read in detail in thursday class so i in thursday class i will teach top 25 existing tool inside cap and then after there will be two more classes and if the two will finish and then i will finish unit three four five in next four four, four lecture So, Vanita, I think your classes started in November, but you are admitted in July, August section. No, sir. I took admission in uh, August. Uh, last week, I took admission. Yes, sir. So, there, by rule, your syllabus should finish by December and your exam should be finished in December. And now you should be in second semester. That's why sir is dwelling we are very very late and we have to finish everything by five and there will be a final exam I think and maybe internal final everything all together. And so uh, October the entire October month we didn't had any classes. But we I can't do anything I was not there. Now I am here and I have to finish your first semester by February then maybe because by rule your second semester finish by June. So if you finish your first semester by February, then you will take a start class from first of March and then you will finish your MTech class. If take second semester by June, then by the way you will on track. All backlog will kill your apps. That's why we have to take some fast track steps. We have to miss some lectures, but we'll try to cover in uh, four lectures. We'll try to cover all the things that was scheduled in for a nine lecture. Because if I take a nine lecture, then it will take three more months. And your first semester will finish by May, by the time your second semester should finish. So here, everyone has to make your uh, sacrifice. And then okay. from in your second semester, I will be not your teacher and then ah, no problem. Enjoy. And but you will get so many te good teachers. Okay. Like, so you're not teaching us for the second semester? Yes. Because I you're not three subject in a B tech, so I will not take any fourth subject in M tech. Oh no. So this is the only semester you'll be teaching us. You should enjoy the life. You should explore all possibilities <laughs> exist in this world. And... No, I I thought you'll be teaching us even like for like throughout the uh, MTech. Oh I see. No, no. I just That's because easy. I have got so many courses in a B tech and I can't live in between. If I have a standard um, B tech course. In eight semester, uh, and I started with a course in six semesters, so I can't say okay, by the way, I'm going to take a new course in MTech. So, so now I uh, can finish this course by end of by mid of the world. So be I see. cooperate with me and try to finish the call units in a four lecture. Do not ask nine lectures from syllabus. And we try to put all knowledge in our one <laughs> pockets. And Banita will actually translate, we'll try to put all Sagar into one Gagar. And 
object. So we are here. We run some. Then there is a one tool called Nikto. So Nikto search for the web servers, existing web server available on the domain. So search. So it finds and it operation time out and they don't find this type of words here. So just we have to open cat V U L M S. So these are the word inside apache.txt and they are searching these words inside the URL we provided. So we provided one URL, we can change it https facebook.com and they will search all 30 words mentioned in apache.txt inside this and for that we use a command called dir. So we can Close terminal. Victor. <coughs> and then we can pass minus H and then we can see it. maybe this URL. This is a static page, no web server. So try to run on it. So I will also discuss Nikto in our First day class. So today left and then today should be fast. It was a plan to take it by morning, but now live is fast and we will be now. So it is taking time. Then we can proceed. Here we I run. And it show me a message, no web server found on gancity.com. Then I provide Nikto minus H and the IP address of the virtual machine. This IP address you can say. And it so okay. Hi, it has some web server. It found some web server, web server name was Apache, it was installed in Ubuntu. So here there is a web server, web server, there is an operating system, Ubuntu, all information I am getting using Nikto. And then there are a command called SQL map. We can use a command SQL map, you can use option minus U and then we can provide this IP address. This is the IP address of this virtual machine. So this IP address was when, when I make slide. And I provide minus minus BBS so it will show the database name if my any database exists. So we run it and we found no web server found on gancity.com. This is, uh, so now on my virtual machine there are web server. And on this uh, website there was no web server. On this IP address there is a web server. And web server name is Apache installed on Ubuntu. There is a cookie. There is a, some anti click jacking. X framework option header is present and there is a root page. That redirects to login.php. There is a no CGI directory, but there is a server link sign nodes, and there is a one file di directory inside robot.txt. And then there are some databases OSVDB, and there is a one config directory. So it is giving the information about web server link to. Then So inside this Kali Linux, I told Wireshark is already installed, Metasploit is already installed, ACT Toolkit also already installed. 
So here we can choose any types of attacks. That may be social engineering attack, that may be chain testing, that may be third party module, that may be update the social engineering toolkit. We can update ACT configuration and we can exit also. So I go for social engineering attack, I press one. So here I will get some link of website copy and that will work throughout across the globe because it has a static IP 10.10.10.197.146 and that IP anyone can use and they can open and they will find something. So we go for website attack vectors. Then we can go for credential harvest attack methods. Then I will use web templates. And here IP address for the post back in harvest database. Same, I will leave it because I will use the same then, then I will try to. And then I will press to for Google. Do you want to attempt to disable Apache? Why? The best to use this attack is if username field are available. This captures all post on the website. Information to you as it said as below. I will not stop. We can provide this IP address, but we can make ten ten one nine seven one four six. So I think there is a some inbuilt problem inside those credential harvester. They are not creating the clones of Google. But we can try some others. I think all features are not available, but at least some features are available. We can also exit and we can open the data as well. Today it's 11, so okay. Meta is flat opens. So we can search what uh, is can. different types of scans available here so we can run any meta exploit command here and we can see the results also Also, we can run the commands called host and it will show the connected host and we can run the command called services and it will show the available services. Here two services on port 445 is available that is related to this. So what command we know we can type here and so meta exploit is available in this cloud of called DBWA. 
वायर्स सारे जे अवेलेबल दी क्लाउड ऑफ डी वी डब्ल्यू एफ एन मैप इज अवेलेबल सो ऑल थ्री मैन टूल्स आर अवेलेबल एंड वी कैन एक्सप्लोर मेनी वायर्स इफ यू वांट वी कैन सी यस सो मेनी टूल सो इन प्रोग्रामिंग दे हैव टू टू टूल्स पोस्ट मैन सब लाइन टेक्स फॉर साउंड एंड वीडियो दे हैव फॉर वेव they have a warp suit they have a ows pjf one nikto we have run so nikto is available we have verified it for password cracking there is a mid usa hydra john the ripper has cat available post exploitation exploitation there is a mimi cats for wireless there is a ear crack ng for binance there are gdb gitra that are to for a scanning there is a n map for tremor there is a meta exploit so this tools not all to tomorrow we'll see not tomorrow in thursday class we'll see the 600 tools available inside this option but here limited but it exists so now i so today jay cobra li manita sayar only johnson is not able to connect so where is johnson from in hostel i don't know and yesterday he messaged me sir with hostel internet i am unable to connect no but it today was a little no So, sir i don't think the hostel students have uh, wifi maybe that is why in i think so because he was telling me before i don't know if it, the situation is how it is now before i guess last time we had class he was saying that the campus doesn't give wifi to them so they have still not entered uh, the students into the system that was the previous situation i am not sure about the current situation Yes, yesterday he messaged me from mobile, sir. I am unable to connect with hostel. Okay, so we today, eleven January, twelve January, thirteen January. Then day after tomorrow, we'll meet in another theory class, and we'll discuss. Today we'll discuss uh, using Kali Linux in cloud environment and. First day we'll discuss using Kali Linux in non-cloud environment. Okay, so sir. Thank you so much for your kind presence. Thank you, sir. Welcome.